what's happening? Six six hill right here. Um, I haven't made a video in quite a while, but I wanted to drop in and say hello, everybody. And uh, I wanted to touch on a few things, mostly to say thank you to everybody for your continued support on this journey that I'm experiencing. Um, most of you, most all of you know, I have ALS, and it's a uh, degenerative motor neuron disease that attacks your muscles and your lungs and your heart and your diaphragm being some of the most important ones they're affected. I've lost the total ability to walk or to sit up or to hold my own body weight or to lift my arms or to basically use my hands. My hands are getting to where I have two fingers on this hand that work and one on this one in my thumb. But uh, as time goes by, you know, my limits become more and more limited. And uh, it's kind of a fair trade, I suppose, with friends. I've lost a lot of friends. I know I haven't lost them as friends. They kind of faded away or don't know what to say or how to act around me or don't want to deal with it or they're already dealing with the grieving process. And that's okay. Um, a great man named Eric Lowen, who was a wonderful musician, um, passed from ALS a couple of years ago and he said something that really stuck in my head and it's kind of what I explain to people to kind of hold them together to people to understand this there's good parts of bad days there's bad parts of good days and it's okay to ask how are you it really is okay and I've been watching everybody's videos I may not comment on them all anyway. I comment on a few now and then when I can. But I'm watching your videos and it's an incredible blessing to have YouTube as an outlet to help occupy my time considering that's all I have is time to lay here in this bed with this beautiful pillowcase under my head and watch people's videos and the Garage Gang, and Blue Roads, the Brothers of the Road, and all the other little groups and communities within YouTube that I feel like I'm a part of, uh, keep me entertained. Um, Mr. Peak now has my uh, oil can banjo back, sold it back to him. And he's been playing me some beautiful music on it. Dead Eye Dan, 63 Impala have been in on it. There's no better medicine than the power of music and friendship. And uh, those guys have really stood out and made music for me. And it's really helped more than I can even express what it does to me. And on Mr. Peak's videos, a lot of people have been you know, saying hi to me and wishing me well and praying for me. That's keeping me here. It's giving me the power to uh, want to open my eyes in the morning and sleep well rested at night. So I just want to say thank you to, to everybody that's uh, associated with Mr. Peak's channel. And if you don't know who he is, look him up on YouTube, R. Peak. I'm basically calling him the Renaissance man. He's a musician, poet, he's a good wordsman, wordsmith, what I'd say. Uh, he's a very significant person in my life. And his wonderful wife, Trish, is a dear sweetheart. I really enjoy her videos of poet making and cooking videos and things like that. I know, I know I'm a guy. I shouldn't be watching women make quilts, but. It's interesting to me. You know, I like pretty things. No apologies here. But uh, I want to thank everybody also who voted for me for Brother of the Year. Um, thanks to you, I won. So we all won. It's, uh, I couldn't have got in the running without you, and I couldn't have won it 
without your votes. And uh, I'm honored to be, had been in the running with some of the best guys I've met on YouTube, Garage Gang and Brothers of the Road. So Rhodes and Shine, and Bella, thank you for the opportunity to uh, hold the title for Brother of the Year 2014. It's an incredible honor, and it means a lot to me. It really does. I just received a package in the mail, and I'll make another video here. I'll have to have some help with it. I'm holding up the, the goodies, but uh, I got a gigantic prize package from uh, Rhodes and Shine and Bella. And uh, it's extremely cool. Really, really cool stuff in there. I'm a really blessed man. What can I say? I'm really blessed. I raised two children that turned into be wonderful adults who are now raising their own families and working full-time jobs and going to school. And they're good, productive people. You know, I don't feel like my work is done here, but I certainly look back at what I've accomplished over the last 20 years, and I did it. I did it right. I did what you're supposed to do. So I just want to say thank you to everybody again for your continued support, well wishes, and prayers, and gifts. I had a wonderful gift. It's been two weeks ago now. A gentleman named David Dondero. I'll get into it another time how I met him. But he's one of the greatest American songwriters there is. There's no doubt about it. Poet, troubadour. Um, I don't even know all the words that explain the guy. But he's extremely significant to me. And I hadn't met him or seen him in 12 years. When I started messaging with him on Facebook, he was across, going across the United States on tour. It's what he does basically is he lives in his car and travels all across the United States playing house shows and coffee shops and clubs and all kinds of things. And uh, I really like his music. And I posted up a couple of videos of his music. Anyway, he called me one morning. He says, I'm in Columbia, Missouri, about an hour and a half away. Getting ready to check out my motel. Can I stop by and visit you? If I would have been standing up, I would have fell down. I said, yeah, come on, man. So he came over, and I called my good friend Anthony. He's a guitarist from my old band, Bent. I said, Anthony, get your bones over here, buddy. Don Darrow's on his way. And he was here before I hung up the phone almost. And uh, we ordered some pizza, and... Got to spend an hour or two with uh, David Don Darrow. He played me some beautiful songs. And we sat here and talked and told stories and ate pizza and joked and laughed and cried. And uh, how incredibly lucky I am because I hold high regards to David Don Darrow. His, uh, his folk style, Americana, poetry, music is uh, some of the best I've ever heard. Um, it's the best I've ever heard. I may also add he's an artist. But, uh, uh, yeah, he came and visited, and we had a great time. And I put up a couple of videos. I got a couple more songs I'm debating whether or not to uh, post or just keep to myself. I haven't really decided yet. I'd love to share it with everybody because it means so much to me. And, of course, he sat here and asked me, what songs do you want me to play? I got a list of about 50 in my head that I wanted to hear him play, but he had only a limited amount of time. He couldn't sit here and play 50 songs, eat pizza, and then expect to hit the road for five hours. So uh, he kept it short and played like five songs for me. And uh, we had a good time. It was a wonderful day. And... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get off here and quit rambling. But thank you, everybody, for your continued support. And, uh, subscribers, uh, you guys mean a lot to me. And 
I love you guys, and I'll see you again real soon.